Hey, it's Dora with Tactical Hive. In today's video, we'll be covering the house chest drill. All right, this is a classic drill designed to warm up before going into the house to conduct clearance. Stay tuned. Hey guys, we're back. Today, like I said, it's all about the house test drill. So the house test drill was developed um, quite a while ago. It's a bit of a classic drill, but what it's designed to do is to start you off cold first thing in the morning and before you go into the house and start training for CQB. Why is that? Well, in real life, you're gonna be doing it cold. You don't get a chance to warm up before things progress, you know, and the mission starts, et cetera. So when you actually go and do the real thing, you're gonna be cold. So you need to be able to start from a point of completely cold, you haven't practiced, you haven't warmed up, and just to see where you are. And that's what this drill is designed to do, is kind of let you know exactly where your baseline is cold. So let's give it a shot. So how you set it up is you want a people-sized target, maybe a head and a torso, doesn't need to be. Uh, back in the day before they had Gucci targets, they started off using three by five cards as the acceptable bullseye. And then when that got old, they shrunk it down to playing cards. So if you don't have access to good range targets, it's okay, you can just DIY, do it yourself. Just get some paper, draw out a uh, silhouette, and then go ahead and put targets, stick targets onto there with spray glue. You can trace them with Sharpies, whatever it is you need to do. Today, we're just gonna use this standard target I found laying around the range, and I stuck one of those uh, nifty sticker targets on there just to show us where the impacts are. Once you got your targets set up, these things, you go ahead and start off at the three yard line. Go ahead, lock and load both weapon systems eyes and ears, and you're ready to go. So it doesn't matter where you start from, it could be the high ready, it could be the low ready, just I'm gonna go ahead and start at about three yards. And just nice and easy, I'm gonna go ahead and land my shots. Two to the chest, one to the head is, back then that was kind of standard training, but you can go ahead and vary it up any way you'd like, it doesn't matter. So I'm gonna go ahead, just punch out. And go ahead and just give it two to the chest, one to the head. All right, go ahead and reset. If I wanted to throw in a transition, I could. You can do it either way. With a transition, I'll go ahead and just say, send two shots. So I'll go ahead, send it, transition, just like so. Bring it back and go ahead and reset. All right, that's three yard line. Let's back it up to the five. All right, so we're backing it up to the five. And something to keep in mind, you know, this is combat shooting. This is close quarter shooting. Yes, you need to guarantee every shot you take, but it is okay to be a little bit faster. Your, your groups can be a little bit wider. This is not bullseye shooting. This is not precision shooting. This is combat shooting. But at that being said, you, you, know, you definitely wanna make your sh every shot count. So keep in mind. So from the five yard line, go ahead and start from low ready. Go ahead and, and drill. So I'm gonna go and throw in a transition. Go ahead and pop up. Different like so. All right guys, back at the seven, we'll go ahead from high ready, just punch out. Like so. We're gonna throw in a transition. Go ahead from low ready. Like so. All right, let's go ahead and see what we got. 10 yard line. All right guys, 10 yard line, punch out from high ready. Or with a transition, let's go ahead, just punch out, take shots. Like so, all right. All right guys, so that was the house test. It's a classic drill designed um, probably the better part of 40 years ago from the guys that were kind of figuring out CQB and how it was all gonna work. It's designed to be done first thing in the morning when you're nice and cold. and let you know the kind of worst case scenario where your shots are gonna be. Uh, I definitely had a couple, for the most part, they're all in there, but did have a couple of outliers down here with the, the SIG. And then, yeah, one low, and I mean, the rest of them are pretty much in there. You know, not my best by any stretch, but again, designed to be done cold first thing in the morning, kind of get your bearings. Obviously, the more you practice it, the better you'll get at it, but it's really that first 
iteration, that first time at three yards, five yards, seven yards, 10 yards, 15 yards. If you wanna go back farther, that's great. Let you know exactly where you're at and hopefully we'll help you pick and choose what you need to work on throughout the training day. Anyway, hope you like this video. This is again, this is Dora with Tactical Hive and I'll see you next time.